Hello, in today's video we have put a starship on a space shuttle stack, we have put a space shuttle on a super heavy, and we are going to take our starship and we are going to resupply the ISS with it, and we are going to be using our space shuttle to go to Duna and back. So yeah, we're doing like a good old switcheroo mission today, so we're going to be crossfading between the two different uh, vehicles during the course of this video. We are starting with the launch of our space shuttle, sh starship shuttle, starship space shuttle, star shuttle, space ship, that this thing here. So, it is now in the air. After we complete this launch, we're going to be cross-fading over to the Space Shuttle's launch, and then we'll kind of have them going in in tandem. So, we're starting our pitch over near with the SRBs. As you can see, we have that one uh, vector engine gimbaled way out on the Starship, just to help us not, like, flip over and die. We're doing a white Space Shuttle external fuel tank because the orange one, if I did flags for the orange one, it would have, uh, it, it'd be, yeah, it would have just flipped over uncontrollable but here is booster separation as we start to flip over but booster separation we flip the other way and there they go the boosters and we are still fairly controllable this thing uh this thing was kind of a nightmare but uh there it goes as it starts to um power its way uh into into orbit it doesn't have great it has terrible twr with just the three vectors i would turn on our uh, vacuum engines but it's not stable with the vacuum engines it's too much offset for us so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to power our way through here until the external tank is depleted in which case at which point at which point we will be uh, de uh, deploying it and then we will turn on our vacuum engines and which will power us the rest of the way uh, into orbit the last few hundred meters a second as the last few hundred meters a second of the external tank is just about to be depleted you can see that the gimbal is really, it's definitely working. And there goes the external tank. We're going to switch on the vacuum engines, and there we can go get our way into orbit. We're doing a rendezvous with the International Space Station to do, you know, it's like, like you know, the shuttle did, the, did ISS mission, missions, and, you know, the Starship did, does, like, Mars missions. So, you know, it's good old switcheroo. So there is our target, and we're going to get ready to cut the engines right there. And now we can cross straight over to the launch of our uh, base shuttle on our Super Heavy. It's like a... Space heavy, a, a super shuttle, super shuttle, yes, super, it's like super shuttle, I don't cringe, is very high, so, gonna start our pitch over here with our super heavy, super heavy has loads of delta V, because the shuttle weighs quite a bit less than Starship, as you could imagine, but our space shuttle does not have a lot of delta V, because the space shuttle needs to get its way basically into orbit, and it needs to get itself to Duna without refueling, so uh, the uh, Super Heavy is unfortunately not going to be able to do a boost back burn today. It's going to be after landing on actually the next peninsula over from the KSC. So it doesn't quite have enough Delta V to boost back. So getting ready to uh, to cut its engine there. There it goes. Going to stage away Super Heavy. Going to get the booster cam in the uh, top left corner there as it uh, glides its way back down to uh, to the ground. If you're enjoying the video, would like to quickly do the plugs. You want to become a member. You could become a Patreon. You could... Uh, subscribe, you could like, we're, we're getting a lot of subscribers, a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed and all that stuff, you guys, you guys are awesome, hope you've been enjoying the content, um, you guys seem to have lately, so yeah, thank you everyone who has, like, watched the videos and liked and stuff, so, you guys are amazing people, Discord, I also have a Discord, best Discord ever, totally, definitely, so, um, <laughs> here comes our Super Heavy, which is coming through the atmosphere, we have our grid fins, we have the Starship just about to do its orbital insertion burn, Super Heavy's also going to start its landing bird right about now, it's just gonna be lighting its center engines to do the landing bird, not lighting all of them, because, uh, you know, in real life, that really wouldn't do that, so, going to be coming in now just a few hundred meters a second of delta v to do our landing burn as the star shuttle is just about in orbit and there is good orbit from the shuttle and super heavy is now on the ground there we go the space shuttle is going to be ready to do its trans duna injection right about now to head on out to duna um the space shuttle the reason our space shuttle has enough delta v to be able to do this mission that's because I have the payload bay completely full of fuel. So we have around 1400 meters a second left of Delta V to do the burn with. They're going to use the OMS thrusters. Um, they do not, they're, they're, they're a mess. They're, the thrust is slightly offset as you could tell because, you know, they're obviously at the top of the, the shuttle. So uh, the thing struggles to maintain its maneuver node and it, uh, oh boy, it just, it just has issues. Um, so luckily we have enough fuel on our way back from Duna because we fuel on Duna. Uh, we do have enough fuel to, um, to make it back uh, using the vector engines to do all our big burns because the reason we have to use OMS is we, they're not they're more efficient than the vectors um, so luckily the vectors can be used on the way back so that's pretty awesome but you have to deal with this very very long burn this is sped up 10 times normal speed so yeah uh, definite definitely quite the burn here coming up here just about ready to finish the burn last few hundred meters a second of the burn will be completed once that is done we are going to cross fade back to the star shuttle starship well, I guess it's just starship now 
Um, is it going to do its rendezvous and docking with the ISS, which is going to happen right about now? Here we go. Going to set up our maneuver node to do our rendezvous. There it is, looking good. I'm going to do uh, another burn with the uh, with the vacuum engines here. Just a few second burn to get ourselves lined up, and then we are going to uh, come in at literally 500 meters a second relative velocity. So it's a uh, it's quite the quite the burn. Totally realistic how they do it. They just come at like half a kilometer a second, like full speed ahead towards the station. Um, to, uh, and then they just, like, slow down perfectly right next to it. Totally safe, totally realistic procedure. Um, balls to the walls, here we go. And there we go. Hey, perfect. Yes, I was actually kind of surprised how, how well that went. So, um, I was, uh, too lazy. I, did, I decided not to put any RCS on the starship. We're going to extend our little docking port there. So, the, basically, the ISS is going to be docking to the starship. Um, it's kind of a mess because the ISS has the solar panels. It's all wiggly wobbly, but eventually it does work out. Forgot to deploy the radiators on this ISS. I think I do do that in a second. Do do ha. So the Starship docking bar is not even a really nor. It wouldn't make sense to put it there. Um, I don't know why I did. I just I just actually I do know why it is. Because if I put it in the fairing, it would stay clipped in the fairing, and then it would be occluded, right? So when I went to extend the piston to get it out of the fairing, it would have not been able to dock to the ISS. So yeah, we kind of have to bump bump the Starship to uh, be able to uh, to um. To be able to dock to it, which would be really is if you're like transferring supplies or something to the ISS, um, because uh, you know how would you transfer it through like an engine? Um, realistically, you want to put it somewhere on the side of the starship. So here it goes, coming into the forward docking port. I forget what this is actually called, like Harmony, Harmony docking. I don't know. No, that's a module. Wow, I'm dumb. Um, this is where the crew dragon and will dock. And I forgot to auto strut the piston, so the kraken starts to happen. Auto strut. Duh! there see that works totally normal um so while it is going to transfer its supplies you know pretend right we can cross right to the shuttle which is now at duna and is going to start its duna entry here a lot of heating here we have to be really careful not to melt that nose cone which is very melty but here we go we're actually gonna uh, aero capture and then just deorbit in one big old big old pass here as we're trying to get as much surface area uh into the airstream as possible as the thing is a little bit spinny out of here but then we will, um, we will start to a quick save there. Probably, probably a good idea. And here we can start to, um, start to come on down. This is a completely, like, stock shuttle. Like, I've not made any modifications. The shuttle look actually kind of funny, because I did. I added two parachutes on each side, um, near the middle. Those actually became, those are useless. I don't even end up using them. So, <laughs> so technically, a fully normal space shuttle. You can see we're crossfading as I quick save my way down. And here we are just a few meters off the ground. And then we can get ready to deploy our drogue chute while we are in the air. The drogue chute's on the back of the space shuttle like it normally is. Drogue chute out, landing gear out. And that's going to slow us down a lot from around 200 meters a second to just under 100 meters a second. The problem with that, though, is we are, that basically destroys all of our lift. So we basically are just basically a big falling rock. Basically, the space shuttle is normal. Normally, um, aerodynamically, because uh, yeah, here it goes. There's a big falling rock coming at around 50 meters a second. Just to hope the landing legs can take landing gear actually can take it. And hey, they did big bounce. That was like five G's on the touchdown. So, yeah, probably not a very comfortable ride for the Kerbals, but uh, we have made it down to the surface of Duna with the space shuttle. Uh, we're gonna get ready to. Uh, we're probably gonna deploy. Uh, we're gonna ditch. Wow, I can't speak. We're gonna cut the chute, and then I'm gonna let it just glide out on up to the top of the hill because top of hills are cool. And here we are. Actually, we landed. We were pretty lucky. Duna is a pretty hilly place. We actually managed to land on the uh, on the flat part of Duna, so that was quite a flattish area. So uh, that is gonna be our shuttle landed on Duna. Before we can get our shuttle uh, returned to Kerbin, we are going to uh, undock our starship and we are going to head, uh, bring it back to, uh, well, not bring it back, we're gonna do our deorbit burn and then we'll bring uh, the starship, uh, actually do the landing with the starship at the end of the video. Uh, we'll end with the starship. We start with the starship, end with the starship. Um, so. I know why my SAS isn't on, that's kind of weird. Um, there we go. Gonna do our deorbit here now. Going to fire up the three vacuum engines to do our deorbit burn. Don't worry if it looks like we don't have enough delta D. We have a header tank, uh, which will actually has uh, about 600 meters a second left in it to do our landing burn. So that will be uh, that will be how we land our starship. So we're going to finish up our deorbit burn, and then we're going to cross fade over back to our shuttle in just one moment, which has oh my gosh, it's been magically refueled. Yes, refueling. There is a rover that came. You guys missed it. You didn't see the rover that totally refueled us. Totally. So um, there we go. Quick little firing of the vectors, and the shuttle is basically in the air immediately. So 
Gonna throttle the vectors not totally to their full power because um, we want to be a little, we want to be efficient considering the atmosphere. So going to be uh, using the vectors, like I said at the beginning of the video, to do our entire uh, burn back to uh, to Kerbin, um, because the OMF starters are too finicky and janky, and they just they just they're just a mess, mate. So. Going to uh, time up on up to our Apsilapsilapsily eye, and then we can get ready to do our return back to the Kerbin. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to be doing our return back to Kerbin, and then we are going to be doing our landing with the space shuttle uh, in this, I guess, segment, if you will, and then we will crossfade back to the starship to do its uh, starship, uh, its landing and belly flop and flip, which is pretty epic. We actually land the, the starship on a very fun location. Um, we don't we don't land it on the ground. No, no, no. We landed on big buildings. So I guess we have to have to uh, stay tuned to see what building it is. Be your retention. <laughs> um, so professional YouTuber, right, guys? So, here we go. Going to do our burn back to Kerbin, and then we are going to do some correction burns and a bunch of dumb stuff like that. So I'm just going to crossfade over that because no one wants to see that. You know, go watch Matlon videos if you want to see correction burns. I guess. Um, I don't know. I watch Matlon videos, so I don't know. Um, here we go. I'm going to be we got we got we one of our RCS thrusters. Hot puck things kind of burned off. That's bad. We don't need them. Irrelevant. So here we are. Going to do air brake pass number one. Need to do a little bit, a little bit of a squirt with the engines to uh, to get ourselves captured around current. But there we go. Going to go to our apps lie, and then we can uh, get ready to do uh, our next air brake pass. Um, this is we basically our last pass. We do. We only do two passes. We are very we live living life on the edge here. We really have to be careful not to melt our wings and our, our nose cone and every everything really wants to melt. So. There we go. We do start climbing again, but we do uh, we do scrub off enough velocity to be able to um to be able to uh to start our descent back towards the Kerbin. And there we go. Have trajectories. I don't even end up using trajectories. Great mod though. FYI, I would get trajectories if I were you. It's a great mod. Um, so going to get ready to do our crossfade. Cr cr crossfade. Here we go. Crossfade for our final descent and landing on the KSC runway. We actually got really lucky and we're at, we we came up on basically a perfect trajectory to land on the the runway um, from Duna. So that was kind of lucky. Going to use the uh, the that never happens to me to be honest. It's like the first time ever. Big luck. So we're gonna use the uh, the landing gear to help kind of use as an air brake, but you're gonna um, retract them because you don't need them anymore. Um, and now we're gonna just basically glide her back down to Kerr uh, to the runway, and then we can come in for hopefully a nice soft landing. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, well, you'll see. So um, gonna get the gear back out now as we come over the threshold of the runway. Going to start to raise the nose to flare. And, oh gosh, the nose is not coming up. Oof! That was a big oof. That was uh, that was not comfortable. Kerbal, yeah. Neither landing on on Duna or back on Kerbin were very very smooth, but uh, they're back. They're happy. They've made it back. Actually, they don't look very. At least that one Kerbal does not look very happy. And there we go. Going to uh, bring the speed down. And now it is time to crossfade over to our starship, which is going to do epic belly flop back at the KSC. Um, so we're gonna activate our header tanks, and now we are basically we're coming in super steep. So this is like we're, we're, we're like nose diving at the atmosphere. We're coming a little bit low, so I do end up kind of like flying it straight on towards the atmosphere to try and scrub off a little bit of, uh, or not scrub off, but keep the velocity right. And then we we raise the nose, do a little bit of flip flop, flippity flop, flop, flip flop, because I kind of lost control because I'm the best starship pilot ever. I am totally the best starship pilot as we now can uh, regain control of the ship and begin our belly flop procedure down towards the KSC. Where are we landing, guys? Where do you think? <laughs> Comment below. No, don't actually. That's pretty cringe. Um, so, going to uh, keep on coming down below three kilometers, below two kilometers, and where are we going? I think it's pretty obvious. I don't know. Maybe it's obvious. We are going. We're going to the tracking station. So we're only relating two engines on our flip maneuver. Normally starts with like three, but there's that one vector that is like super pre gimbled out. Um, because of uh, during our launch, we had to have it. So that engine would have like flipped us over if we activated it. So we just have the two engines activated now that we're going to use during our entire landing burn. We have flip and we are coming in for a landing on top of the tracking station. I really hope I wouldn't be working in there right now. It'd be weird because there'd be a rocket landing on me, but here we go. Going to do some slight translations over towards the uh, tip of the top surface, the little triangle area on top of the tracking station. We got enough Delta V to kind of hover around here for another few seconds, so coming on down like so. Very slow, going to come in for a nice buttery Starship landing as you're now below 50 meters above the surface of the tracking station, just blasting it with uh, with with rocket exhaust. Hopefully that thing is pretty, pretty strong, can take the heating, and touchdown! There is our Starship on the ground. 
And that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. So on screen will be all of our members. If you want to become a member, you can hit the join button. And on screen right now will be our four Patreons. So thank you for becoming a Patreon, four of you guys. If you want to support the channel, Patreon's probably better, right? Because uh, Patreon doesn't take 30% of your revenue. Cough, cough, YouTube. <laughs> what? Um, okay, uh, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching. Until next time, please write a comment to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.